Want to know what the cost of living looks like in Idaho Falls versus Pocatello? Let's break it down. Hello, you guys. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. I'm a realtor based here in southeastern Idaho, and I make videos every single week talking about all things life in Idaho, things to do here, tips for buying or selling, what to know if you're thinking about moving here, everything in that realm you will find here. But in today's video, I wanted to do a take on kind of a series I've accidentally started on this channel, which is basically comparing Idaho Falls and the cost of living in Idaho Falls to other cities. So I thought today I would do it on Idaho Falls versus Pocatello, which is another city in southeastern Idaho, just to kind of see what the differences are, if there's a big difference in cost of living, and what it looks like if you're thinking about either Idaho Falls or Pocatello or maybe both. So let's jump on in. Okay, so the first factor that I always like to compare is of course the median home price. This is as of like February, March of this year, 2023. So right now the average home price in, well, the median home price in Idaho Falls is about 390,000. Um, the median home price in Pocatello in the same time frame has been about 322,000. So not a huge difference like some of the other bigger cities that we've compared Idaho Falls to. In general, Pocatello's housing market is usually a little bit lower than Idaho Falls, but of course there's not an insane difference and it's nothing that you can't find in Idaho Falls. So just something to keep in mind, Pocatello might have a little bit more affordable options on like the median home price side, but that doesn't mean that you can't find it in Idaho Falls as well. So just putting that out there. The next thing I like to compare is rent. So right now, a one bedroom apartment in Idaho Falls will run you around $795 a month. A one bedroom in Pocatello will be about $699 a month. Right now, a gallon of gas just for regular gas will be, will be about $3.49 a gallon in Idaho Falls. In Pocatello, it's right around $3.61. Again, not a huge difference, kind of just depends on where you go, but something to keep in mind. A loaf of bread. I always do this one just to kind of get a baseline of what groceries like to, of what groceries cost in this area. So in Idaho Falls, a regular old like white loaf of bread will be about two dollars and eighty cents, and in Pocatello, it's about two dollars and thirty four cents. The cost of internet a month, as I always say, of course, this can vary depending on so many factors, but just as a baseline. The average internet bill in Idaho Falls is about $60. In Pocatello, it's around $61. So really nothing different there. Okay, a gym membership. So a gym membership in Idaho Falls, just for one person at like your average gym, will cost about $32.50 a month. In Pocatello, it's about $35 a month. So again, nothing crazy there, just so you know. And then finally, I thought it would be interesting to compare a movie ticket price like you've probably guessed from the rest of this video, there is not a huge price difference between Idaho Falls and Pocatello. An average movie ticket will cost you $12 in Idaho Falls and $11.50 in Pocatello. So there you have it. Like you can probably tell, there's really not a huge, huge difference in the cost of living between Idaho Falls and Pocatello. Median house prices can vary a little bit. Like I said, in general, Pocatello's um, median home prices and housing market in general can be a little bit lower than Idaho Falls, but it's nothing crazy. Pocatello is like 45 minutes to an hour away from Idaho Falls. So you're still kind of in the same area. It's not that dramatic of a difference like I've seen in some of my other videos, but I hope this was helpful. If you're kind of considering between the two or maybe wondering what the difference is, there's some of the basic just expense differences between Pocatello and Idaho Falls. I work in both, so if you have any questions on either city, feel free to drop them below. As always, if you have any questions on anything, again, drop them below, send me an email, connect with me on social media, whatever you wanna do. I'm always happy to help you guys out. And like I said, I hope this was helpful. Until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.